Books to me are, it, I'm comfortable when I'm around books. I have probably three or 4,000 books in my library and it, it, it just kind of makes it cozy. I build a little fire in my, my beehive fireplace and surrounded by my books and it's really a comfortable feeling for me. I decided years ago I wanted to collect unique books uh, in the true sense of the word unique, which means there, there's not another copy of this, just like this book. And uh, I don't know, I probably have three, three or four hundred books that fit that description. I have a few of them here in, in front of me now. Uh, for instance, this book, I, 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 bought a, I bought a collection of books from the from the heirs of Algerdon Smith. This book is Cavalry Tactics, 1841. Algerdon Smith was a good friend of General Custer's. He was killed in the Battle of Little Bighorn with, with the general. And this book is signed A.E. Smith, 7th United States Cavalry, 7th Cavalry United States Army. And what, what I've done with all of my, my rare books I write my name in pencil inside the book, and if I had my way, everybody for the next hun few hundred years that takes possession of this book, I would like for them to write their name under under here. Algerdon Smith was was uh, commanded Company E at the Battle of Little, little Bighorn and was killed there. I like that little book, but if you when you talk about people signing books. This is a book, Pony Tracks, by Frederick Reming, a very famous book, printed in thousands of copies. Uh, this book was given to me, given by Edward R. Murrow to Eric Sloan. And Eric Sloan gave it to me for Christmas in 1980. It was written by Frederick Remington. It has an original Frederick Remington letter in it, signed by Frederick Remington, New Rochelle, New York. And it has an original Theodore Roosevelt letter uh, signed by Theodore Roosevelt. But this is the copy that Frederick Remington gave to Teddy Roosevelt in 1905. This book is written and, and illustrated by Frederick Remington. Now, now this book, while we're talking about artists, rhymes from a Roundup Camp by Wallace Coburn. What makes this book special and what makes it unique is uh, who owned this uh, book. This is to Mr. Wadsworth, but the good part is that there's an original pen and ink drawing by, Frederick, by uh, Charlie Russell. Charlie, this book was published in 1899, uh, excuse me, pu pu copyrighted 1903, which was at the height of Charlie Russell's uh, productivity. He painted his best paintings around that time. But this is a book that uh, uh, was illustrated by Charlie Russell, and it says, Show me the way to go home, babe, Yellowstone piece of daughter Nell. And it has a signet, his initial signature, a buffalo skull, and dated 1904. But there are a number of illustrations in this book by Charlie Russell. And there are things that I, that I, I like to stick things in, in books. This didn't come with, with the book, but this is... Charlie Russell's original letterhead. Oh. And this is a letter to me from Frederick Renner, who was the expert on Charlie Russell. This, he authenticated this book for me on February the 5th, 1977. That's how long I've had this. I think I had this book for about five or six years before that. And this is a letter to me by, signed from, from the Biltmore Gallery in Los Angeles, signed by Steve Rose. He was just authenticating, the, uh, appraising the book for me. He appraised it in 1990 for $9,500.
with that little Charlie Russell drawing, pen and ink drawing. Now this book is a, is a special book. See the spreckling on the edges? Rarely do you see spreckling on a book. This is leather bound. This is a book about Espeo's exploration of New Mexico. Isn't this a beautiful book plate? Espeo was a Spanish explorer that came in here ostensibly to look for the missionaries that Coronado had, had left here when he returned to Spain. Uh, but this is a very special book. It was given to me by Evitz Haley in 19, September 1969. This tells about Espeo's exploration of China, but especially of New Mexico. He was, Espeo was here in 1583. This book was published in, in Paris in 1589 in French. And I've been told that this book was printed only in two copies and that the other copy is in the Louvre. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I've been told. This great book, The History of the Constitution of the United States by Bancroft, is not something that I, that I would normally be interested in, except that when I first got in the art business in Santa Fe, there was a lady here in town that settled estates. When somebody died and they needed to close out the house, she would go in and inventory everything and sell the pots and pans and the flatware and the coffee tables and everything that needed to be sold. She would sell them. And if there was if there were some pretty good books there, she'd call me on the phone and say, Forrest, I have... Uh, 300 books, some of them are good Western books, or interested in them. And she would tell me that she wanted five or $600 or $1,200 or whatever it was. And, and I'd tell her, okay, I'll take them. And then I'd, I'd send, send my shipping guy over there with some boxes, and we'd pack all these things up and bring them to my gallery. Then over the, over the next month or two months, I would go through these books a little bit at a time when I had the time to do it. So th this is a volume two of a two-volume set, History of the Constitution. And I, I didn't think much of it, but I, I turned to the first page and, it, and, and thumbing through this thing, and I found that it's a pretty amazing book, really. It has original documents bound in this book, some of them from, on the letterhead of the Continental Congress and dated 1776. Isn't this a beautiful seal? Now I'll tell you what this book is. This book is signed by King Charles III of Spain and Charles Pickney, who was 29 when he signed the United States Constitution, was later three times governor of South Carolina, ending in 1808. Okay, here's, here's the signature of King Charles IV. And here's the signature of Charles Pickney. And here, here's, here's the king's seal, wax seal. I love this kind of stuff. This is, this is really, this is history personified. This beautiful thing is dated 1824. It was signed by David Carroll who died in 1829. He signed the United States Constitution, labor, later became United States Representative from Maryland. And, and these, two volume, these two volumes are just full of, of things that have been tipped in. This is signed by Thomas Miffin, who signed the Constitution, was governor of Pennsylvania. And it says here, in convention, Philadelphia, February the 26th, 1790. This document was signed by a man by the name of Tyler. It's dated 1870. That's pretty late. 
This is signed by John Sullivan. This is this document is 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 dated January the thirtieth, seventeen eighty nine. Uh, that's when George Washington was elected president, seventeen eighty nine. This is signed by William Smith. It's dated uh, December the 5th, 1800. Isn't that interesting? And you had no idea that, that material was in there? When you I, did, I didn't know that this two volume set was in there and the lady that sold it, to, sold it to me, she didn't know it either because she didn't go through the books. But after I found these things, I called her on the phone and took her to lunch and I, I gave her quite a bit more money <laughs> to bring. But this, this document is, it says Hartford, Hartford, July the 1st, 1776. It's signed by Jacob Wadsworth, delegate to the Continental Congress. And, the, and these two books, Every document and every photograph that's been tipped in here uh, is signed by someone who either signed the Declaration of Independence or uh, uh, the United States Constitution or both. Some of them signed both. And books can be, can be very special. This book is leather bound. Cowper's, it says. It says, Minor Poems. It's a book of poetry, leather bound. It has hand marbled end papers. If you don't know what a, a marbled end paper is, this is a painting. This is not a print of a painting. This is actually oil on paper. And this book plate says that this book was owned by William Goodwin. But what, what makes it really neat is that it's a four edge painting book. It's gilded on, on the edges. But watch this. Yeah. You got that? Yeah. And the, the book is dated uh, in 1850. So that we know that, uh, that, this forage, that this painting was put in this book after 1850. The book was published in 1822. Huh. You know, over the years, it's taken a, taken a beating. A lot of times, you, when you see a, a, a great binding, they're signed by the binder. I don't see a signature on this one, but this one has my little, my little clip on it. It says, Forest Fen Collection, Santa Fe. That's all the writing I could get on that little thing, but I love this little book. And I have about... I think I have about 50 four edge painting books. This is Idols of the King by Alfred Lloyd Tennyson. Double four edge painting book, Oxford and Cambridge. Now let me show you this. You can see that it's, it's gilded on, on the edges, but it has watercolor paintings on the fore edge, on the side of the edge, not on the edge, but the side of the edge. This is, a, are you rolling? I am. This is a watercolor painting of Oxford. And if you turn it over, turn it around, this is a watercolor painting of Cambridge. Mm 